Welcome back to another video, my brothers. Right, what I want to talk about today are five habits to get your life back on track. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Okay, make sure you watch this entire video. Let's get straight into it. The first thing that I want you guys to do is get into a consistent sleeping routine. Okay, when I mean consistent sleeping routine, I mean you sleep at the same time every single day. You stop staying up till 4 a.m. because that's fucking your life up. You oversleep, you wake up in the afternoon, you're like, shit, I don't have much time to do the things that I want to do. Look, I get it, man. When your life isn't going the way that you want it to go, sleep is a source of comfort. Because technically for eight, nine, ten hours, you don't exist. You're basically dead, right? You don't have to worry about anything when you're asleep. But when you wake up, you got to confront the realities of life. If you're broke, well, you can't go out the house. You can't go to a coffee shop. You can't drive your car if you have a car, right? So I want you guys to start sleeping at the same time every single night. Avoid staying up all night, okay? I get it. Look, if you run a business, create content, whatever, sometimes you got some work to finish off and it may drag into the night. That's all right. But if you're not living the life that you want to live right now, you've got some stuff that you need to fix. So go to sleep, latest 10, 11 p.m., right? And then wake up early in the morning, 6, 7 a.m. Because now you have access to a long day. Now you're not waking up at 4 p.m., 5 p.m., okay? So that's the first habit. And also, touching on sleep, it's very fucking important, guys. It's very important that you have a consistent sleeping routine. And also, before you go to bed, avoid being on your phone. That will disrupt your the quality of your sleep. And also, when you wake up, don't just lay in bed for an hour scrolling through TikTok. Get out of bed. Jump out of bed. Okay? Move your body. Have a shower. Right? Make yourself a black coffee. All right? So that's the first habit that I want you guys to implement is a consistent sleeping routine. The second habit is cleaning up your diet. Once again, for a lot of people, when they're stressed, eating, and when I say eating, I want to elaborate, eating unhealthy foods for a lot of people is a source of comfort. Chocolates and, you know, chips, as you Americans call it, crisps, as we call it here in the UK, right? You just start stuffing yourself, you watch movies, you just don't care about what you eat anymore. And in the moment, it feels great tucking into some Ben and Jerry's ice cream. It was fucking magnificent. And by the way, I had a, a few spoonfuls yesterday of Ben and Jerry's uh, ice cream, but I deserved it. I earned it because I've been super fucking disciplined. Anyways, clean up your diet, man. What you put in here affects the engine up here. Your brain, right? The quality of your thoughts will be impacted by what you put into the system. In the same way that if you had a really nice car, you'd make sure you put in the right oil and the right fuel. You've got to put the right stuff in you as well. It doesn't mean you can't tuck into some chocolate once or twice a week. Of course you fucking can. I'm not one of those people that will tell you to never eat chocolate again because that's just not realistic. I love chocolate and I eat chocolate probably once or twice a week. All right, but I have a very clean diet throughout the week, all right? And I'm not telling you guys to embark on a, you know, an incredible transformational journey to compete in Mr. Olympia. No, but just clean up your diet. Okay, if you're overweight right now, you should be disgusted at yourself because your body reflects your decisions. If you stand in front of the mirror and you've just got fucking breasts and a big belly, that's a result of the decisions that you've been making. So you now need to start making different decisions if you want to change what you see. Okay? So clean up your diet. Make sure that you have a healthy breakfast. All right? And look, you don't have to eat five or six meals a day. And I'm going to make a separate video on what I did to lose uh, approximately 11 kilograms in the last three months. And also drop my body fat from 26% to currently about 11, 10.8%, okay, roughly. Um, so I'll make a separate video on that, but just clean up your diet, okay? 
Habit number three. What was habit number three? Work out consistently. As well as having a good diet, you need to work out consistently. Get the body moving, get the blood pumping. Look, I love using this analogy because it's, it's, it's very true. If you stop driving a car for months on end, the car will develop some problems. The battery might go flat, there might be an issue somewhere else in the car. Your body is very similar, although your body is much more complex, okay? If you stop moving your body, if you just stay in your room all day, every day, you will gain weight because you're not walking around, you're not, you know what I'm saying? You're not engaging in any movement, any activity. So your body will start packing on the pounds, your face will get fucking fat, you'll develop this, you know? You gotta get the body moving. Once again, I don't expect you guys to have an extremely complex bodybuilding routine, but just walk everywhere. First of all, that's that's something that you don't have to pay any money for before somebody says, well, I don't, I don't have the money for a gym membership, Ali. Well, you can fucking walk outside, that's free. You can do push-ups, pull-ups if there's a bar somewhere, right? That's all free, you can develop, you can create an incredible body just doing free shit, like push-ups, sit-ups, pull-ups. Right, you can grab something heavy and squat with it, right? So come on, man, there's no excuses. Don't neglect your body. Look, even if you're going through a tough time right now, you're grieving the loss of somebody very important to you. Um, and when I say that, I mean either they sadly passed away or you know you broke up with a girlfriend, for example. Mourning is a very normal thing. Grieving is a natural human emotion. But I don't want you to grieve and neglect your body. I still want you to be healthy. You can still take the time away to reflect and ponder, of course, right? But at the same time, don't neglect your body. So get your body moving, fellas. You don't need a gym membership. Although having a gym membership is convenient, of course, right? Because there's many more machines in there that target different parts of the body. The next habit that I want you guys to develop to turn your life around is setting daily goals. You know, I don't want you to wake up and think, right, what am I going to do today? I want you guys to know what you're going to do today. Buy a journal and the night before, write down what you intend to do the next day. It could be two or three things. You know what? I want to hit the gym. I want to create a video for my channel. I want to create my Shopify website to start selling my clothes. For example, these are just examples, right? Two or three things that you intend on doing that day. Knowing those things will give your day some purpose. Now you have something to take off. Now you've got something to hunt, right? But waking up and not knowing or not having a plan, you're just gonna be walking around in circles and you're gonna waste eight hours. The amount of time we waste, fellas, every single day, and I've been guilty of this in the past, is ridiculous. Some, some of us waste weeks, months of our lives not doing shit because we don't have a plan. We don't write goals. Okay, so write down two or three things that are non-negotiables you, that you intend on doing. I'm not a fan of having a list of 20 things to do because I know human beings. Most of us aren't going to do them, okay? So set goals. And then the last habit, which I want you guys to develop, which is similar to writing goals down, but I want you to reflect. I want you guys to journal. Because if you reflect on what you do every single week, you become very dangerous. Because you will improve drastically if you know what you've done during the week, what you haven't done. Because most people, you know, first of all, most people don't write down goals. But also, even if they are doing things, they're not reflecting on what they're doing. There's no performance review. When you work for somebody else, there's a probation period and then they also review your performance. Maybe after three months, six months, whatever. And they analyze what you've done, critique what you've done. Some of them even do it on a weekly basis. Okay, depends on the company. I want you to do that with you. Because look, when you're an entrepreneur, when you have the desire to do your own thing, nobody holds you accountable. There's no manager. You have to hold yourself accountable. So every single week, I want you to review what you've done. And be honest with yourself. Is it good enough what you've done this week? Keep it real with yourself, man. Otherwise, you're going to continue doing bullshit every single week. Because look, some of us mistake being busy for being productive. 
They're two completely different things. Just because you know, you're know you out and about doesn't mean you're being productive. Some of us are wasting so much time. I truly believe four hours of deep work every single day is more than enough. And actually going over that becomes counterproductive. They've done studies on that. The human mind can really only focus at optimum efficiency for about four hours. That's why some of you guys that are in the library for 12 hours, you're wasting time. Okay, I want you to become productive. Okay, so review your performance. Anyways, thanks very much for watching this video, guys. I hope you found it valuable. If you have, make sure you give it a like. If you're new here, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.